Hello, my name is Chris Morgan, and I'm Technology Director for the OpenShift Partner Ecosystem. What I wanted to demonstrate today is uh, some of the work that we recently announced um, around .NET uh, capabilities, along with Microsoft SQL capabilities, working with OpenShift. Uh, thanks to a contribution from our, our community partner at Hulu Software, we're able to add this functionality in a really seamless manner. In fact, in this particular demonstration, you'll notice that I, I'm going to be utilizing OpenShift Enterprise. Um, this was a stock OpenShift Enterprise deployment that I was able to take the community bits um, as provided by Ahura Software and, and add the .NET and Microsoft SQL capability to that existing deployment. Before we get started uh, with the actual demonstration, let's revisit the architecture uh, that was mentioned on the blog post. So as you can see here, I have a, an OpenShift broker that is continuing to run on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. I also have a, an OpenShift Linux node. Um, this again is already available today with OpenShift. And the pieces that I added were to enable a Windows node for running the .NET and Microsoft SQL workloads. Uh, to do this, again, we're utilizing some Windows isolation code and, and other code that Ahuru Software has made available to the community. And we utilize, in our case, uh, the mCollective agent to allow the broker communication uh, to this Windows node, just as we do to any existing Linux nodes. We also have an SSHD server that we had to add in order to get uh, support for things like Git and rsync. And so with that, Let's return back to the demonstration environment. I've already previously deployed a, an actual .NET uh, application with a Microsoft SQL backend. Uh, we do support that, and so this is an entire application that is running on the Windows node, with the exception of the load balancer. Uh, we did not want to rewrite all of our existing cartridges and move them to Windows to support this. And so we wanted to create an environment that was interoperable. And so the load balancer is just like the HA proxy we utilize for the native Linux OpenShift applications today. Uh, we're able to also utilize it running on the Linux node working with the Microsoft apps. So with that, let's add a new application. I'm obviously gonna pick .NET but let's make it the MySQL backend. So we can show the capability to have a .NET front end that's running on Windows with a native Linux cartridge as the back end for a sample application. You'll also notice that we, again, as I mentioned, we have scaling available, uh, just as we do today utilizing HA proxy. So after a couple of minutes pass, you can see that I have a .NET application deployed with a load balancer. Uh, it has a familiar landing page if you've ever used OpenShift before. This is where I've not added any of my own code yet. Um, this is kind of the, the shell of the application, if you will. However, for .NET, we have added some uh, items for demonstration purposes where I can display the environment variables, for example. And we do this so you can see that this is native on Windows, right? You know, with a C colon backslash uh, available for many of the actual variable values. We also have added a button that will throw a, a familiar exception if you've done a lot of work uh, in the IIS space. So with this, let's switch to the command line. So from here, the first thing I want to do is clone my application. Now once the application is cloned, we'll go into the directory, I want to add a MySQL cartridge to this application. Now 
this takes a minute or so to complete. So now that we've added Microsoft SQL to the app, I want to take a sample application that uh, our partner Ahuru Software has provided me to deploy to this uh, new environment that has .NET on the front with MySQL as its backend. So to do this, we're going to copy in the code. Oops. We need to add these new files. Then we're going to do a commit. And then we're going to do a push. And just like we do with all of our other runtimes, you can see it's pushing my new code out. And then there's going to be a, a series of uh, deployment and restarting um, steps that occur. And this too takes a minute or so to complete. Great, so now my application has been deployed. Let's go see if it was successful. So I'll come back to my application homepage now, and when I click on this, you can see that I have a, a very simple .NET uh, ASP type application deployed uh, with a .NET front end and a MySQL database uh, to store page visits and display the last 10 visits. So again, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it gives some context to the exciting work that we're doing um, with our partner Ahuru to get this capability added to OpenShift. Thank you.